Welcome to your Tesla. This video will provide a high-level overview of the essentials you need to know to take your first drive. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in the series to learn everything you need for ownership. Open the door by reaching with your outer hand, pressing here with your thumb, and pulling the handle. Press here when you want to get out. Your phone is the key to your Tesla. We call it phone key. Once phone key is set up, your car will automatically unlock as you pull the door handle, power on for driving when you press the brake pedal, and lock as you walk away. You just need to have your phone with you with Bluetooth on. Your Tesla also comes with these backup key cards to use in case your phone dies or you want to hand your Tesla to a valet. You should always keep one with you wherever you keep your driver's license. Press it against the driver's side door pillar below the camera to lock or unlock your Tesla. Place it behind the cup holders and then press the brake to power on your Tesla for driving. Use one of your backup key cards to set up phone key. Make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on, open the Tesla app, and then follow the prompts. Phone key wirelessly communicates with your car over Bluetooth, so your phone will function as the key even without cellular connectivity. When you press the brake, these icons flash and your drive modes appear, indicating that your Tesla is ready to drive. As you walk away from your car, the signals flash and your mirrors fold, showing that your Tesla has locked. Open the Tesla app if you'd like to use phone key to manually control locks, trunks, or your charge port over Bluetooth. This is in addition to the span of other app controls that use the internet connections of your phone and your car. Select here to reveal your controls menu, where you manage numerous features and settings. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your preferences. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. Adjust the steering wheel by selecting it on the touchscreen and then using the left scroll wheel. Tap mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. Many other settings also save to your driver profile so your Tesla stays just how you like it, even if you're not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key and your car will automatically adjust to you as you open the door. To drive, Simply buckle up with your phone key in the car. Press the brake pedal, and then reach to the drive stock. Press firmly up for reverse, and firmly down for drive. Press in the button on the end of the stock to put your Tesla in park. Once your car is in park, you can get out. There's nothing to turn off. Your Tesla powers down once you get out and close the doors. Press your turn signal stock lightly up or down for three flashes. Press it all the way up or down to fully engage your signal. Unlike most other cars, the stock returns to its central position while your signal is on. A sufficient change in steering angle turns off the signal. To disengage it manually, lightly press the stock in either direction. Pull the turn signal stock toward you to flash your high beam headlights. Push it away from you to turn on your high beams. With auto high beams activated from the touchscreen, your car will automatically dim the headlights when oncoming traffic is detected. Press the button on the end of the turn signal stock to wipe the windshield once and reveal wiper controls on the touchscreen. Select between wiper speeds here or set them to auto. Press and hold the wiper button to wash the windshield. Your Tesla has regenerative braking. As you lift off the accelerator pedal, your car will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. 
It can take a couple drives to get used to it, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making it easier to drive. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, your Tesla will also apply the traditional brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This makes stop and go driving possible using the accelerator pedal only. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. To charge, point the connector at your charge port and press here to open it, or press on the charge port door itself. The Tesla T glows white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug in the connector and the T will pulse green once charging begins. To unplug, press and hold the connector button and remove the connector once the T turns white. Your charge port door will close automatically. To get the most out of your Tesla, be sure to watch the remaining videos in the series. We'll cover important features like autopilot and software updates, and you'll learn more about topics like charging and the Tesla app. Even more information is available in your on-screen owner's manual. Open your controls menu and tap service, owner's manual, and then search for any topic. It's also available online.